Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams. This tutorial is part of a series, video series on how to build graphical user interfaces using BOA Constructor, WX Python, and Python. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a graphical user interface. You'll learn how to create a frame, menu bar, and a status bar. So, let's get started. Here we've got BOA constructor and there are three sections we have the palette where we have different WX Python widgets that we can use to construct uh, applications or software we have the inspector which gives us information about the different widgets and uh, various options of changing settings for those particular widgets and we have the editor where all the code is produced and we can add code to, co to communicate with the graphical user interface so this t series of videos will be uh, helping you create a simple text editor similar to Windows Notepad and in this tutorial as I said I'll show you how to make a frame menu bar and a status bar so the way we do that is we have we can go to file new and select WX frame or you can go on the palette and I believe that one there is WX frame to create the frame my preference is to follow this procedure when I'm creating a new application so we choose WX frame and here is the code so we save that and I've already made a frame so I'll replace that with this frame yep already exists thank you okay so when we're designing the frame we have the frame design button so if we clean click that there it is we have the frame now I want to give this frame a title so here I'll call it my first frame now there is a quirk with bar constructor that if you, you click the update button or post a session it will update the code you'll get an error message a pop-up box saying it couldn't in, uh, update the code so the way around that is I'll click another area such as there it's updated the information then I update the code okay so we have the code that is generated by BOA constructor automatically and just looking here here we are there's the title my first frame okay now updated it saved it now the yellow button is to run or the yellow arrow button will make it run so I click that nothing happens reason is we need extra code in here uh, to tell bar constructor to show us the frame the way we do that is we go to edit add module runner so we click that then we get this additional code which will run the, uh, the frame and we can see it we have here frame show so we will then see the frame we save that code then we run it there we go we can see the application now or the frame now we want to add a menu bar so we click the frame design button we go to utilities data on the palette we select menu bar click that then we click in the area of the frame we don't see it but you notice in the data tab we have menu bar so when we double click that disappear double click okay now we want to add some menus on the menu bar so click new we go over here and we'll click, type in file 
then you have a refresh button here so you click that a refresh is file update the code save the code show the frame designer the menu bar shows again we double click that add another menu and we call that one help you click the refresh button to refresh the name from menu 0 to help we update the code then we save it Open, the, click the frame design button still no menu bar the reason is it doesn't show is because we need to attach it to the frame the way we do that is if I click this I have the menu bar but I want the frame so click in the frame error area not error area so it's frame one we go to the properties we look for a menu bar drop down box and there's a menu bar and it's showing there so we update the code so you have a tick box here sometimes you won't be able to use that it's blocked out so then you use this one so the tick is to update the code click that save it then run application button there it is but we haven't put any menu items in there yet we've just attached the menu bar so we close that and we will now put a status bar in so we go containers and there is the status bar click that click the frame here's the status bar same as menu bar you need to attach it to the frame once you do that the status bar will then automatically go to the bottom of the frame so we click constraints it's got the status bar if we click in the gray area of the frame we now have the frame go to properties and status bar click the status bar drop down box and you get status bar it's attached once again update the code save the code we have the status bar now let's run it and we have now have a menu and a status bar attached to the frame now to add widgets if we go to basic control you got a label you got a text box combo box radio buttons and so forth you need a panel you can't put the widgets on a frame you need to put it on a panel so we go to container the panel click the panel click it in the middle of the frame but it's only sitting in the middle to get it to cover the whole frame we just adjust the frame and we have the frame uh, the panel in the frame and if we adjust it the panel adjusts with it also okay so we update the code save it and there we are we have our first frame or the construction of the frame there'll be more involved in the next tutorial I'll show you how to add menu items how to na add a text box uh, for writing text such as in notepad and after that adding the code okay so that's it with the tutorial I'll be posting you know, the video and more details about coding and so forth on my blog site I hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and leave a comment if you have any questions.